Welcome to our Western Reserve Photographic Society educational video on cropping, resizing, and sharpening images for Western Reserve competitions using Adobe Photoshop. Now here we have an image. I'd like to put this in a nature competition, but it's the proper, not the proper size. So the first thing I want to do is I would like to crop it. And we have our crop marks on here. I'm going to crop a little bit off the left, a little bit off of the right, and some off the bottom. And I think I'm going to leave the constraints about like that. OK, if we hit the check mark on the upper bar here, image is now cropped. So next we want to resize the image. So we go to the top bar under Image, and Image Size. Left click on Image Size. And we can see that our pixel dimensions here are 4180. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Height is 2920. So this is too big. Now I'm going to constrain the proportions and for resampling, I'm going to put bicubic, best for smooth gradients. So let's try the width here of 1920. Because I have the constraint proportions checked, I can see that when I constrain it down and resize it down to 1920, my height is 1341. That's still too big. So let's go over here to 1080. And when I make the height 1080, my width is 1546. Now that's a little less than a 1920, but since my height is a maximum, I'll have to go with that. So we hit OK. Now I have my Photoshop configured so that my wheel will zoom in for me. And we uh, have cropped, we have resized the image, and now we need to sharpen it. Now to sharpen we go to the filter on the top menu bar and you can see sharpen down there and I like to use unsharp mask. Okay now we go to unsharp mask on here um, it's been sharpened you can hit the preview button so here it is after sharpening this is before sharpening that makes a bit of a difference. You can also clip on the window in the unsharp mask window to see what it would look like. Sharpened and unsharpened. Here's sharpened, here's unsharpened. Now I've got the threshold set at a low level, the radius set at 5, and the amount at 110. Now if I put the radius higher, because I want to sharpen it more, you can actually see how the image is actually degraded. So let's go back down here to 5. And if we go to the amount of sharpening, I can put it that very low. Well, that doesn't really do much for the picture. If we go higher, you can see also that degrades the picture. But it degrades it in a different way than the radius. So let's go back over here down to our 99. in a preview on the image. Unsharp, sharpened. I like that. So I'm going to hit OK. OK, we have cropped, we have resized, we have sharpened our image. And the last thing now is to save it. So we go to File on the top menu bar. And we go to Save As. Now we're already set here for saving it as a JPEG. This name is not suitable at all for competition. So let's change that name. Now it's a nature competition, so I'm going to put N. It's a color, so I'm going to put C. Okay, first letter of my name is E. Okay, first letter of my last name is H. Then I'll put 0213. That's my phone. And the title, I'm just going to put Water Lily.
Notice I have no spaces, but to denote the break between water and lily, I use capital letter. Okay, I have my name, I got my JPEG, and we will hit save. Now the JPEG options when you hit save, are you can save it as a small file or a larger file. I would recommend always saving it as a large file because that will give you the best quality. So click on OK. OK, our image has been cropped, it has been resized, it has been sharpened, and it has been saved and renamed suitable for competition. OK, well thank you for watching our educational video and I hope to see your images at our competitions. Thank you.